Here's a great tip if you easily want to set up some keyboard shortcuts for your page or app without having to rely on complex JavaScript to analyze the actual key code that the user's pressed. So if I've got a button on the page and I can click it, obviously with my mouse, uh, I want the user to be able to click that by using a, a, a keyboard shortcut. So one thing we would normally do is to put an event listener onto the document or the window to listen for keyboard uh, presses. And if a certain key combination is matched, then the user would be able to trigger the same event. But we can do this with a simple HTML attribute to actually create the shortcut for us. And that attribute is the access key attribute. So if we put in access key here, uh, the value that we need to provide to it is the key uh, that we would like the user to press in combination with a couple of modifier keys to actually trigger click of the button as in this example. So let's say we put in uh, C as the access key. What we need to do now uh, on a Mac, I need to press control option and then the C uh, key. So the value specified by the access key property and that should actually trigger the uh, click of the button as we did before. So control option and then C. And as you can see, without actually clicking that button with the mouse, I've been able to trigger uh, the a click of the button with just the keyboard. So that's really handy because we don't need to create that event listener on the document to listen for those keyboard events. We can just specify what the shortcut is in our markup. And obviously it helps to make things a little bit more readable as well. So as mentioned on a Mac, this is control option and then the letter. Uh, on uh, other operating systems and other browsers, it's going to be slightly different. Uh, on Windows, for example, it's alt and shift and then the key. And I'll put a link in the description below just so that you've got an idea of uh, what those shortcuts would be on different browsers and different operating systems. So you go, there's a really simple and quick way to add keyboard shortcuts to your page or app. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.